Hi guys, welcome back to our kitchen. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Claudia and I invite you to hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of our family. Today I'm gonna share with you how I make the most delicious barbecue ribs in the oven. If you wanna learn how I make them, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so first we're going to begin by making a dry rub. So we're going to be mixing two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of regular sugar, salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of oregano, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So we're just going to mix everything together and make sure that you break down the brown sugar. Okay, so once we have our dry rub, now we are ready to get our ribs ready. So we're going to grab our baby back ribs and we're going to pat them dry. Okay, so now we're going to remove the membrane. And this is just going to help us have very tender ribs. And these should be very easy to peel. Okay, so now we're going to transfer our ribs into a piece of foil. Okay, and I'm going to be using mustard as my binder. This is not going to give the ribs any flavor. Just rub it. Okay, so now we're going to grab our dry rub and we're going to rub it all on our rib. Okay, so just make sure that you pat it. Okay, so we're going to flip our ribs over and we're going to repeat the same process. Just rub it. Now we're going to add the rest of our rub. And just make sure that the ribs are nice and coated with the rub and just press it down. Okay, so now we're just going to cover our ribs with the foil. So now we're going to transfer into our baking sheet. Now we're going to allow our ribs to come to room temperature. Okay, so once our ribs have come to room temperature, now we're going to preheat our oven to 275 degrees. Okay, so once our oven is ready, we're going to place our ribs on the bottom rack and just allow them to bake for two hours. All right guys, so while we wait for our ribs, we're going to make our barbecue sauce. So we're going to be mixing one and one quarter of a cup of ketchup, one third of a cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of sriracha, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of Maggi seasoning sauce, and for our seasonings we're going to add one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and salt. Now we're just going to mix everything together. So just make sure that you mix it well. And at this point you want to try it to see if you want to add any more sugar to make it more sweet or more sriracha to make it more spicy. Okay, so for me it's perfect, so now we're just going to wait for our ribs. All right guys, so after two hours we're going to carefully get our ribs out of the oven and we're just going to open them. And just be careful because they are hot. Now we're going to pour our barbecue sauce over. So about one cup. Okay, so just make sure that you brush it. Okay, so now we're going to place them back in the oven and allow them to bake for another 15 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to place them on the top rack and allow them to bake for 15 minutes. Okay, so after 15 minutes, we're going to repeat the same steps. So we're just going to add more barbecue sauce. And of course, if you want to add the barbecue sauce on the bottom of your ribs, you can go ahead and do that as well. So just brush it. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to put them back in the oven and allow them to bake for an additional 15 minutes. Alrighty guys, so after 15 minutes, our ribs should be fully cooked. So now we're just going to cover them and allow them to sit for about 10 minutes. Alrighty guys, so after 10 minutes, we can get ready to cut into our delicious ribs. Alrighty guys, so now just cut them to your liking and enjoy. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make the most delicious barbecue ribs in the oven. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.